Okay, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about my 14 by 17 uh, home-built ultra-large format camera. Um, it's pretty basic. I uh, used a bunch of tools and cobbled it together today. Uh, now, this box I took from a pinhole camera that I had created for 11 by 14 and uh, I just decided to basically modify it. Um, I, I took the back off and I, um, uh, so there's some, you know, it's basically just a cardboard box with a bunch of gaffers tape around the uh, outside here. Um, I simply took the lens that was on a lens board and taped it to the front. Pretty simple. Um, on the back, you'll see that I attached little hooks to uh, a wooden frame. I essentially built a wooden frame um, and just framed it together. You can see I put a little base support there, a little T support, which is pretty standard. Um, now the inside I've already coated with um, Rust-Oleum from the previous build. And uh, you'll notice that the back part is not um, sprayed. Now this is basically in reverse. The original back of the camera was over, was this side. So I never sprayed the back side because the uh, the film holder went here. Uh, you'll see there's still inserts to hold the film there. I had a slot uh, with a light trap that allowed it to go in. I thought that that at the time was a good good move, but um, I decided with this one that I would have an actual solid frame. The 14 by 17 is just too large to have something kind of wobbly and loosey-goosey with, um, with cardboard. So I basically took um, regular old 2x4 wood and I hammered that together for a frame and that I attached simply with some screws to the cardboard edges of the, uh, the box. So I then took a frame here uh, which is just a, a standard um, piece of wood from a molding strip and I um, I noticed that this had a nice little nice edge that was already pre-cut for me so essentially this is where the um, holder sits I cut a notch here it's pretty pretty hacked together as you'll notice I just kinda took a saw and went zzz, zzz, zzz. doesn't have to be perfect uh, for my purposes anyway. Um, and I, you know, light taped every everything that needed to be light taped and that's basically it. Um, I added a couple little tongs and what I do is I hook I hook um, bungee cord to this so that it holds the holder in uh, flat and I'll show you what that looks like basically in a second. Okay now um, in my last video I got some critique about the fact that I was hand holding my camera. My camera happens to be my iPhone and so I don't really have a tripod so I'm sorry about the wobbliness of the video. Anyway um, this is a 14 by 17 holder. Uh, it's made by s and uh, Sandy King. Very very good holder. Now um, alright so it was too hard to do that with the phone. Anyway, um, while holding the phone, I should say. So essentially what I did here, as you can see, is I took um, that framing, and as I showed you before, I made a little notch here. And if you'll notice on this side is where the standard edge, um, raised edges on the holder. Uh, and I thought that that would keep the light pretty well out of the way, so to speak, and uh, protect it on that edge. And then for the rest of it, I had a frame, so that holds it nice and tight into that, um, into that. And then I have the bungee cords just to keep it tight onto here, so that when I pull the dark slide, I don't have any issues with it moving. And finally, I know I'm going to get a question about how I focused. So this is how um, I use a sheet of wax paper on a piece of glass. Pretty simple and I held it up to this here um, frame. Now I pre-measured the distance between the uh, film plane and the holder so it should be fairly accurate. Um, I will obviously find out uh, when I develop the film how accurate it was but I think it uh, was pretty spot on. Um, by the time I went to shoot it was a little dark in the day so I'm not sure that I focused perfectly 
as it is, but we'll find out. And last but not least, I just wanted to add that um, obviously this is something I've done in a single day. Uh, so I wanted to show everyone how easy it is to do in a single day uh, a very simple camera. Um, I might add an adjustable focus here, uh, a sheath or something that um, enables you to focus, and I might add a light trap back there um, to ensure a better uh, chance of not having any light leaks. Uh, but I just wanted to make it a point that obviously it's uh, a little bit easier than some people make it out to be to make a simple camera. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, this is my how to make a very cheap ultra large format camera and not spend $10,000 but instead spend about a hundred. Uh, uh, well, plus the holder. The holder is um, obviously a little bit more. Um, as long as you have the tools, a simple cutting machine and a drill and some screws and some wood and you got yourself an ultra large format camera. Pretty easy. Have a wonderful day everyone.